Hear me out now. Let me talk to y'all black people. When we think about economics, I want us to think about a game of Monopoly, right? Think about Monopoly. Monopoly is most fun when you have multiple people playing, right? So the key is to have multiple people playing. So you got six, seven people playing, eight people playing, and everybody starts off with a certain amount of money, and you buy up property, and you got multiple amount of people to circulate and land on your property, right? So you got a higher chance of generating more income, right? That's in the game Monopoly because you got eight people playing. So you get, you buy the properties and you got seven people that go out and go around the board. That's seven chances that they might land on your property and make you and get you some money. Economics is the exact same way, right? When you think about circulating the dollar, right? The, the more money you have circulating in your community, right? And you, once you open up or do a business in your community, right? The more money you have circulating in your community, the more money that is spent in your business, the more uh, what we call uh, recreational spending will be done on individual and small businesses. So, how you doing, brother? So I'm gonna give you an example. I sell five gallons of dishwashing liquid for thirty-five dollars, right? That's a hundred and forty ounces of six hundred and forty ounces of dishwashing liquid for just thirty-five dollars, right? Now, this black-owned restaurant. Let me hear. Pepper pot. Now they make. Now they make excellent food. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. They make excellent jerk chicken egg rolls. They got good food. They get a lot of support, right? So that's one thing I can't lie to you about. They do get a lot of support with that. I even buy food from them. But instead of recirculate that money back in the black community, right? Instead of buying the five gallons with 600 ounces, right? 640 ounces for 35 dollars. I just want to show you what this black man do rather than recirculate the money back in the black community and, and buy the dishwasher and look for me. This is what this black man do for Pepper Pot. This is what he do. He go buy this. He go by this. 14 ounces. He come in here and buy this. To what to do dishes. This is what he come in here and do. I'm just recording for my podcast because I'm talking about the circulation of money and I was like rather the black man get a lot of support for his business but rather than recirculate money back in the black community he'll come in here and buy 25 ounces for three dollars rather than buy 640 ounces for me which I told him I'd get him for 25 dollars that I sell for 35 
But yet my pops work with your fix the refrigerator, this heat and air conditioning because you want a discount, get a cheap from the brother. But you don't, you hate to circulate money. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got. That, that box of shit you got. You give a fork and shit out with everything you give. So I'd rather have that, even if I didn't do nothing but sit it to the side. I got it. I ain't got to send nobody over here to buy no goddamn box of forks. And, that's what I, and I'm like, listen, I stopped selling. I was like, listen, 250 They, they sell that box at Restaurant Depot for, for $40. I'm selling it to you for thirty dollars, but <laughs> no, that that's how we that's how we deprive ourselves of opportunity. Yeah, we just gotta look at how we act and conduct ourselves as people, and how we contribute to our economic downfall as a people. People all, I hear black people repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly talk about this Black Wall Street. Black Wall Street was Black Wall Street because they circulated the black dollar 28 times before it left the community. You all don't want to circulate the dollar in the black community one single time. So why the fuck do you talk about Black Wall Street, for? Because... They, they burnt down Black Wall Street. They burnt down your mind. They burnt down your ability to spend money with your own people. Or did they scare you? Is that what it is? Did they scare you into not supporting black people?